That's the reality of it. Where you get the truth, where you get the real, where you get to see all the things that's going on all around you. And we tell it like it is. Hello, America. I'm Maisha. Welcome to That's the Reality of It. And I'm Claudia. We have a great show coming up. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. If you're having a tough time selling your home or leasing your property, call Kemp & Associates Real Estate and Property Management, the real estate specialists. Kemp & Associates specialize in residential, commercial sales, and lease and property management. They have expert comprehension services for investors, property owners, first-time home buyers, landlords, and tenants. Call today to buy or list your property and see how fast it goes. Kemp & Associates, your real estate specialist. Don't make a move without us. Attention Baltimore, stop wasting your money going to those expensive appliance stores. Liberty Discount Appliance has what you want for much less. Liberty Discount Appliance has beautiful refrigerators, washers, dryers, and stoves for as much as 60% off. You get big discounts on brand new appliances with just a few scratches and used appliances in excellent condition. You would be amazed at the quality of the appliances and credit is no problem. So come to Liberty Discount Appliance in Randallstown. You won't be disappointed. Welcome back to That's the Reality of It. Again with me is my guest, Dr. Duncan Simon, cardiologist, and we're going to get into some of the uh, issues of how to prevent having uh, issues with your heart. Last week, uh, the last show, we talked about the different ways you can detect heart problems, diseases, and that sort of, th sort of thing, but let's get into maybe a preventive aspect of, uh, of uh, not having a heart issue. Sure. Uh, there are certain things, of course, that everybody knows we shouldn't be doing things like smoking. Mm -hmm. um, and if you do smoke, it's important to stop. Uh, okay. it, the sooner the better. Mm -hmm. Your life will be much better without smoking. Um, high blood pressure is a risk factor for heart disease. And so it's important for people to know their blood pressure and to pay attention to that. Mm -hmm. We now have even stricter guidelines for how low the blood pressure should be. And we have a lot of medications that work very well to control the blood pressure. Um, if you have diabetes, obviously that increases your risk of heart disease. So mm -hmm. we want to make sure if you are diabetic that you take extra good care of yourself. Um, cholesterol will be an issue? The cholesterol, cholesterol is a complicated issue because mm -hmm. it's cholesterol that gets into the arteries and clogs them up. But we all have cholesterol and we all need cholesterol. Mm -hmm. And we all probably have more cholesterol than we should mm -hmm. in this modern world. So most people who have heart attacks have normal cholesterols, mm. but it's important to know what your cholesterol is. If it is elevated, you want to change your diet mm. or possibly even take one of these statin drugs that can lower your cholesterol. Now, watching your weight is important and keeping active is important. Those things will help to stave off heart disease. Uh, what we eat is important, but we don't exactly know what we should be eating. We, okay. we've, we've gotten sort of different ideas over the years. We now feel that probably the best diet is, is a vegetarian kind of diet with not a lot of meat, uh, smaller amounts of fish or meat, and more brightly colored vegetables, more fruits, um, and not as much sugar because there's a lot of sugar out there in this world. Mm -hmm. Sodas and ice creams and cakes, a lot of sugar, and we should limit that as much as we can. Why? Why would you limit the um the sugar? Is it is it uh, well uh, issue with the um, cholesterol or something or the diet? Sugar does push the cholesterol up. Mm -hmm. Sugar, of course, makes us heavier and increases the risk of diabetes. Mm -hmm. And uh, sugar, we think, may have a role in the creation of atherosclerosis. Okay. It may actually what is accelerate that? it. The, the growth of cholesterol plaque in our arteries. Oh, okay, okay. Now, I've heard that um, people could exercise, be athletic, and eat right, and still have a heart attack. What is... Unfortunately, that's true. There are people who do everything right, mm -hmm. and they have... Uh, heart disease or a heart attack, sometimes at a young age. Sometimes that's the genes playing a role, the mm -hmm. genetics that you inherit. And you may have a bad gene from your mother and a bad gene from your father that just play together. Um, but unfortunately, that can happen. And so it's important also to pay attention to symptoms. If you have any heaviness, 
discomfort, pressure, burning pain, something that's unusual, especially if it comes on when you're active, to let your doctor know. Is ethnicity have any factors in um, who has more uh, prevalent to heart attacks or heart issues than another race? Not really. Uh, we do know that African Americans here in America have more hypertension, mm -hmm. and hypertension and diabetes have take more of a of a toll on African Americans, and those are risk factors for heart disease. Mm -hmm. But there's a lot of heart disease in all of the populations in this country, so it's a sort of equal opportunity. Equal opportunity disease. disease. Yeah. What about stress? Is if, is stress a major factor in uh, people having? Stress is not good for us. Mm -hmm. Stress pushes up the blood pressure, mm -hmm. and stress does have a role in atherosclerosis. Um, and the way I like to look at it is there's good stress and bad stress. Okay. The good stress, where you're building something that you're, that's positive, that's okay, but the bad stress is not such a good thing for us. Mm -hmm. So, eat right. Watch out for what you eat. Protein is important, so you have to eat some meat, I would guess. Some, some protein, yes. But what about um, supplements? No, there's no, there are supplements that we recommend, but not for the heart. Okay. No. So, I guess uh, with ans hopefully we've answered all your questions. If you have any more questions or something that we haven't touched on, uh, one more thing. Why do they pay more attention to the men rather than the women? They used to. Okay. But uh, about 10 years ago, uh, the information came out that women are actually dying of heart disease at about the same rate as men, but they tend to be older because they're protected during their years of childbearing. So when the menopause hits, women's risk goes up. And so a woman has just as much of a risk in her life of having a heart attack as a man. And we now understand that women don't always feel their pain the way men do. Right. Maybe they're stronger. Mm -hmm. uh, but we, we have learned now to pay much more attention to women. And so hopefully uh, cardiologists around the country are doing just that. And when you say they're protected earlier, what do you mean by protected? Well, the female hormones, estrogen and progesterone, mm -hmm. do seem to protect against atherosclerosis. Got you. Got you. All right. Now, women, they're going to pay more attention to you. So stop complaining when you, when you go there. If they don't pay attention to you, you say, look, I have just a, uh, as much of a risk factor as a man. You better pay attention to me, <laughs> right? So, Doctor, I appreciate you again for coming on. Thanks for having me. And uh, if you have any other questions and that we haven't addressed, give him a call. We're going to have the number on the screen, and he'll be glad to talk with you. So don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. So I switched my car insurance to State Farm. I say 480 bucks. You know what that is? Yeah, don't say it. You know what it is, right? Yeah, hey, don't. It's a lot of dough. Switch and you could save 480 bucks with State Farm. It's a lot of dough. See if Bryant Jenkins in Reistertown can save you a lot of dough. Get to a better state. State Farm. For all your pharmacy needs and prescriptions, call Pharmacy Solutions, LLC. The community pharmacy the mayor honored for its commitment in providing the community with affordable prescriptions. Pharmacy Solutions takes your health very personally with patient consultation and a patient assistance program for the uninsured and those with specialty drug needs. To learn more about the program and how to transfer your prescriptions to Pharmacy Solutions, LLC, call them today because they breathe life back into our community. Welcome back to That's the Reality of It. I'm William. I'm Aisha. I'm Claudia. And today's topic is domestic abuse on men, okay? But before we get into that part, I want to say this. Domestic abuse is wrong no matter wh what gender you are. But to me, men has, have no excuse for domestic abuse because they're the stronger vessel, stronger uh, gender, and they know they can take advantage of a weaker person, a weaker woman. So if the woman gets on your nerves, and sometimes they can, you need to just back away because you already know you can overpower them. Mm -hmm. So there's no reason, no excuse for putting your hands on a woman unless she's one of them WWF women that can throw your <laughs> even, butt against the wall. Then. And even, even then, then you might want to have a witness even because then. she still can press charges. Man, somebody sees some of them big women in the rustling, they're going to press charges <laughs> on her. But 
I'm just saying, no reason for a man to put his hands on a woman because you already know you can overpower him. There's no reason. That's true. Okay? So that's, that's put that right out there. But now, there are some men that are getting domestically abused as well. Yeah. And a lot of them don't report it because they don't want to look like a wimp or mm -hmm. something. Say, uh, you know, they'll go to the police, and that's better. But in, before, you go to the police and say, uh, I'm charging domestic abuse for, for this woman. And she could be a little woman, right? That don't mean they can't hurt you. Right. All right? That's right. And uh, they said, huh? Because society review, uh, views you as weak. Instead, right. of, instead of, and even I feel for the women, some women don't feel like they're going to be um, treated properly when they go to these resources that they are looking for. They may feel intimidated. They don't know what's going to come down the pipe. It's like you you get caught in a deer, like a deer in headlights. You don't know what left, right, up, down, black, white. And I know that um, men have been raped. You know, that's a, that's a form of abuse or molested or, you know, they've had some. By other women? By women? By some women and by other men, yeah. It's I'm not boys. talking about men, I'm talking about women. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They mm -hmm. go through those types of sexual um, abuse. All all the types of mis mental, <clears throat> physical, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. sexual, financial. Mentally, I guess. And you know what the thing is, too, is that if you report a person, uh, a woman that says, she took advantage of me uh, sexually, and she raped me, and I didn't want to do anything. You know what the person's going to say? What are you, gay? Well, no. Well, you know? and then there's or, also or they're going to say, no. how she take, how she, how she make you give herself? That's why we're giving the you, segment. Sometimes you have a boss, you know, that sometimes people uh, abuse power. If they have a title or they have some kind of authority or whatever. They, they feel like if the person reports them, no one would believe them or they could never get caught. So you do have some women in power positions who will take advantage of a man that may be working for her or her subordinate or whatever and vice versa. Um, that's a way that that, that but that's not rape. Well. That's, like that's, Eddie Murphy and Boomerang. But that, but, well, that, but that's not <laughs> when Grace Jones is trying to get that. But, but that's <laughs> not, the kid. But that's not rape. You just but it's abuse. You, it's abusive. It's, it could be it abusive. Could be. And it's, you know, you're taking advantage of the individual. You or if they're drugged, yeah. or you know, and a lot of things can go into that factor. I think there was a movie with um, where the the guy was drugged by the female. And she raped him. I don't, was it the um, Beyonce movie? I don't know. But um, something happened. And then I think she ended up turning up out to be pregnant or something. And, and then he's like, but we never even slept together. And then she told the wife. And then it was just a big mess. And it mm -hmm. did turn out to be his baby. But he was raped. Like, he was drugged mm -hmm. and raped. Mm -hmm. yeah. So it so, does happen. So what should a man do if he's being abused by the woman? Because a lot of times they're being abused because they know they can't touch that woman. So mm. she's beating on him. She's smacking him. She's Even mentally cursing him out. Yeah, that's still you know abuse. on a day to day abuse, on a day to day abuse. basis. Please, right. I'm, I'm speaking of violent, violent abuse right violent. now. What can a man do uh, if the woman, other than just leave her, you know, that's the best thing to just leave so you know, exactly. keep moving forward. But what should he do, or is there a number or something he can do if the woman is beating on him and he don't want to leave? Uh, because of maybe kids or something like that. Yeah. Or uh, well, so what can yeah. what can a man? Because he doesn't he definitely doesn't want to. Well, now men are going to the police and reporting it. Right. Most of the time they won't because, like you said, they look weak if they do, mm -hmm. or they well, can't imagine a woman beating on this guy and he's you know taking it. But they taking it because. They, they can't, do, like anything they can't do anything about Well, one thing I can say, um, I belong to a very great um, ministry um, where we have um, help for victims of domestic violence and for the families. Because one thing, too, about the ministry is they're not judgmental. Obviously, if someone is abusing, they're coming from a place of hurt as well. So they need just as much help as the, the victim. So one thing that I would suggest is... If people are involved in a ministry to contact, you know, a marriage counselor or contact some kind of a counselor, um, set up some kind of appointment where you have a mediator that can kind of guide both of you along. Um, and, and sometimes you just do need some space. And it's good for a marriage counselor then to be that person to say, you know what, let's take some space you know, take some time away from each other for a couple of days and then come back because that space can either make you feel like, um, yes, I want to work on my marriage or no, I need to get out of this situation. So that space is always good. But having that mediator helps, too, because that mediator will also be a witness. So there are a couple of other resources available. I know the House of Ruth 
offer support. Mm -hmm. um, there are some hospitals that you can go into in the emergency room, <laughs> believe it or not, and they have a whole system in place. Mm -hmm. Whether you reveal or not, sometimes if they suspect that there's domestic violence involved, they will plug you into that system or bring those resources there. Mm -hmm. And if you don't want to call um, 911, community mediation, as uh, Claudia was just saying, they offer a free service where sometimes you don't even know if you're being abused. Exactly. So you can get this, you know, you can get it out of your head and mm -hmm. put it on paper. And it's a free service. It's called community mediation. Mm. So, and last but not least, you can Google. When you really want to get help, you can Google these resources on your phone. Now, those resources, resources refer to... Um, for men as well, because I don't think yeah. the House of Ruth is for men. Yes, they are. The House of yes, Ruth is they for are. Men. Yes, okay. they do provide those same type of counseling sessions. All right, you got that information. So, you know, don't think it's only women that's being abused. It's men that's being abused as well. And men, if you are, don't be afraid to go to the police. I don't care what they say to you or how they treat you. Just report it. Otherwise, if you try to retaliate, then you're going down to jail. You're going to jail too. Mm -hmm. So that means if you love that person and you hurt that person and then you and, and, and they abuse you and then you hurt them, you not only you hurt somebody you love, but now you're going to jail. Mm -hmm. So you don't want to go through all that. So and to me, best thing to do if they abuse you, roll out. Mm -hmm. just kids don't there. need to stay in that kind of toxic right. relationship right. environment anyway. So don't stay for the kids because that's not helping them. So don't get away. We'll be right back. It's time to hit the trails on a bike from the Pikesville Bicycle Shop. They have all makes and models for all ages and sizes and they'll service your bike and customize it to fit your needs. So for the very best variety of bikes, the best service and price, come to Pikesville Bicycle Shop or call 410-602-BIKE and take advantage of our special deals. I love my hair up. Beauty Rest Silver, sophisticated design paired with intuitive technology that will leave you refreshed, restored, and ready for the day. Visit the owner-operated Sleep Time Bedding and Mattress Showroom where you will get personal attention. At Girlkin, we don't just do lashes, we offer an exceptional experience where women feel confident and celebrated in luxurious style. What sets us apart? Our amazing customer experience. There is nothing like it. Girlkin is a lifestyle. Lots of fun, laughs, and amazing lashes. Come try the Girlkin VIP experience. Welcome back to That's the Reality of It. I have a very old friend of mine, Victor. Victor, thank you for coming, Victor. No problem, man. Known for like, what, at least 30 years? Don't tell everybody. Don't, Don't tell, tell your about. age. No, oh, 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 oh. But see, they, I can't help it because I just look old. I'm sorry. <laughs> I can't even hide it. You know? mm -hmm. But uh, you've been doing uh, business with um, helping people, businesses on the right track of getting funding and what they need to do to to find that those those dollars to help them grow, correct? Right. Not, not only dollars, William. Um, there's a lot more to a business than just funding. And I tell mm -hmm. a lot of people that if all you're looking for when you come to us is money, mm -hmm. then you really don't know what you're doing with your business. Gotcha. You, you need to find out exactly how you can grow. Mm -hmm. There are a lot of resources there to help you uh, develop marketing programs, to help you out in finding the um, types of resources, not just money, that you need to mm -hmm. be, you know, to be successful. Mm -hmm. I've been doing this at this agency for about 15 years. Okay, can you uh, name the agency? Well, I, I, I outlasted the DBED, okay. <laughs> which was the Department of Business and Economic Development. We're now called the Maryland Department of Commerce, and there was a reason okay. for the change. Okay. When the uh, reports were done a few years back, um, it stated that people really didn't understand what DBED did. They thought we only did big deals. Oh. And that small business was not a part of our program. I so, remember you when you was with them. When yeah, so what? What it was same place. I mean, okay. but they, after the Augustine report came out and found some flaws in what we the way we were perceived, uh, the leadership, uh, both the new governor, mm -hmm. Governor Hogan, and uh, the leadership of our agency, um, Mike Gill, decided that commerce made more sense because then it encompassed all businesses, oh, okay. small and, and large, small and large, and people got the. They got to hear the message better that okay. way. That's when we start talking about we're open for business, mm -hmm. and we were open for business. Now, is it all type of business or, or minority businesses or just general? Business in general. Okay. And we have some, we deal with the large companies, and uh, but but in the small business resource group in which I'm in, our job is to deal with 
mostly small businesses. But believe it or not, and I say this to people all the time, there are 500 and some odd small businesses in the state. Mm -hmm. And the majority of businesses, period, in the country are small businesses. We're okay. the backbone of America. Because a lot of small black-owned business don't really know the avenues to take to do what you're talking about they need to do. Education on what's going on and having advocates within the systems to work for you, um, that, that is true. You, there are a lot of small and minority-owned businesses who really don't have the time because they're running their business right. to research all the information that's out there to help them get more business. Mm -hmm. So when you run into someone who really doesn't know, that's when you become get, get a golden opportunity to educate. So the first step is educate them and then direct them to how their business should run and right. then the third would be getting help them get funding. Is that yes? Yeah. Well, the funding's there. You know, I mean, if funding is the is the resource they need, mm -hmm. we have different outlets to show you how to go and identify it, and what to do to get some you know some source to come your way. What do a business need to have in order to qualify for some of the fundings? And what type of fundings are out there? In, in most cases, you've got to it, whether it's the bank or whether it's the state or whether it's the federal government. It's all basically the same thing. You've got to be credit worthy. Mm -hmm. Most people say that the state will loan money quicker to you if you're in trouble. Mm -hmm. That's not the truth. Mm -hmm. In reality, um, we help people as best we can, but we're just like a bank. I mean, in fact, I think we probably may do our due diligence a little tougher than the bank. You mm -hmm. have to remember, every dollar we lend, we got from a taxpayer. Right. So we have to be very careful with taxpayer dollars. Mm -hmm. Now, is there programs where businesses can get locked into government contracts that uh, they qualify for because there's a lot of contracts out there that minority businesses uh, are not aware of that they can be a part of or get some of that money uh, th that they're not aware of that government contracts are given out. Yeah, the, the, the Minority Business Enterprise Program in Maryland mm -hmm. is the oldest minority business enterprise program in the country. Okay. And that is where you get certified to become a minority business enterprise. The reason for it is is that on contracts, there's law that says that 29% of all the contracts that come through the system have to have a minority participation clause in it, meaning that 29% of the contract has to go to a, de a certified minority. Yeah, is that particularly for home improvement or is that for any business? Any contract. Any contract. Right. Okay. Now, the key word is certified. Mm -hmm. You have to be certified by the um, Minority Business Enterprise Office. It, well, the Minority Business Enterprise Office is at the Maryland Department of Transportation. Mm -hmm. They do a wonderful program first Tuesday of every month, mm -hmm. which is a free workshop telling you all about the program mm -hmm. and giving you an opportunity to sit down after the formal portion of it is over and talk to a, a um, Minority Business Enterprise Specialist. Okay. Now, <clears throat> we're going to go a little longer than what we normally do because there are businesses or people who have businesses that are doing well but in the past had credit issues. Mm -hmm. Now, if they got more funding, they could even blow up even bigger because they're doing okay mm -hmm. now. But in the past had credit issues. What? How can they circumvent that to get money so they can grow and not be stymied by the credit issues they had in the past that's causing their credit score to not be like it should be? Well, that that's a tough one. But a lot of times... Um, Getting good financial guidance, which we have a great finance department in our agency. There are a number of other agencies that have money. Mm -hmm. uh, as I usually tell people, when you meet me, I'm like a triage nurse and a traffic cop combination. Gotcha. My job is to find out where your problems lie mm -hmm. and then point you in the right direction. Mm -hmm. And that would also mean point you in the right direction for money. Because I, I say this and people look at me and they, their eyes will get big and they say, he must be crazy. But there's different types of money, okay. and people don't understand that. You can't go to a place that does brick-and-mortar funding for buildings and stuff and tell them you need some working capital. Right. That's not what they do. Mm -hmm. You can't go to a working capital company and tell them you need some money to build a building. Right. It, it differences in how the money is applied. But in most cases, if there are some stumbling blocks, mm -hmm. it, the, the lenders do the same thing any other lender would do. They find a way to get around them. But usually when they get around them, it's going to put a little more pressure down on you to, as, far as, interest as far as interest is concerned. Yeah, but right. there is ways. Because there's risk. I mean, yeah. money it, it, it's, a, it's a risky business mm -hmm. loaning money. You're putting, uh, let's say, tens of thousands of dollars out for long periods of time. 
with the anticipation that you're going to be repaid on a monthly basis. Mm -hmm. And sometimes people make the distance and sometimes they don't. They don't, right. But there is an avenue for them to take if they have problems of credit in the past to still have a, an avenue. To yeah, I don't, think, I don't think you should ever perceive that your credit is bad. Mm -hmm. Let somebody else perceive it for you. Right. Okay, because if they want the deal, mm -hmm. and this is what I talk to a, a lot of new entrepreneurs about, when they call me up and they say, I want to know uh, how to get some of your resources. And I'll say, what resources are you interested in? Mm -hmm. Well, I, I want to know what you have. I said, we got a ton of resources. Right. And they'll say, well, what about money? I said, we, we have some financing programs. Mm -hmm. Oh, you don't have any grants? Right. Very seldom. Okay. You know, grants usually go mostly to nonprofit businesses and things right. along those lines. Mm -hmm. Large T types of uh, development grants and stuff for cities and counties without this, within the state of Maryland. Mm -hmm. But that's when I stop and start to talk to them about, well, why would you ask for a grant? Mm -hmm. Why would you ask for money first? Right. Because I can explain it to them real simple. If you have a fantastic business plan, money will chase you down the street. If you have a good place, business plan. Right, because it's real simple. It's logical. Lenders lend money to do what? Make money. Make money. They will loan to people to where the idea looks great mm -hmm. so they can make more money. Right. It's just that simple. How can uh, can they contact you uh, to get more information? Is that a possibility? Oh, yeah. yeah. What my number, what number my telephone you? number is 410-767-6303. Mm -hmm. okay. And my email address is Victor, V-I-C-T-O-R, dot Clark, at Maryland, spelled out, mm -hmm. dot gov. Dot gov. All right. Can't get any better information than that. My man Victor always on point when it comes to making business do the right thing and point in the right direction. I need to point to the camera sometimes. Though. <laughs> well, I think they got you. Take it, take it. Look. This, this is my buddy forever, forever. Uh, I appreciate you, Victor. Not a problem. Thank you again. For appreciate it. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Hey, Baltimore. What time is it? It's grab time. And they are at United Crab and Seafood, the home of the half bushel, where we believe the best crabs are the best deal. They have the best crabs and seafood platter in town all year round. And they have catering for all occasions and events. Go to their website and see their extensive seafood menu. United Crab and Seafood, located on Liberty Road near Northern Parkway. Are you looking to get an inspired word from God? Then you should read the book, I Sing My Song. The author, Sheila Sanders, was inspired to write this book when God touched her spirit and gave her these words of inspiration that would benefit and inspire everyone that reads it. I Sing My Song will brighten your day and give you the strength you may need to keep moving forward and reaching higher. Get I Sing My Psalm, Volume 1 and 2, and let your day be nourished in a great and mighty way. Another great show. Absolutely. I would love to hear what you all think, so please contact us. On our website or email us. And remember, when God gives you another day, it's another opportunity to do the right thing. Be blessed. And put God first because through Him, all things are possible.